is Mr. Goddard, and in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at precise turns with the gyro sensor. Specifically, we're going to be using a robot uh, inventor, the Lego Mindstorms uh, device, but the software or the code that I'm going to show you will work on that as well as a spike prime. Let's go ahead and look what we've got here just a basic skid steer bot with uh, two motors, and <laughs> there's the there's the brick right there and some sort of caster wheel on the back. Uh, let me just demonstrate here for you real quick what it's going to do. I've got it set up for a 90 degree turn. I'm going to hit play. I'm already Bluetooth in there. And eventually, boom, there we go. Just a touch more than 90 degrees. We'll talk about why that is here in a moment. Uh, if you need to just pause it right there and look at the code and then you can figure everything else out on yourself, uh, have at it. There you go. So let's go back to this robot and see what is going on. So uh, when you're uh, connected to the brick, up here in the top right corner, if you click on that, then you'll see all sorts of information. What I'm particularly going to pay attention to right here is where it says tilt angle. We've got three pieces of information, the yaw, the pitch, and the roll. Uh, the yaw, as the robot is currently uh, oriented in this, in this manner, the yaw is its rotation left and right sort of about a, uh, think of the, an axis right here as it's rotating along that axis. Uh, the pitch is sort of if you were to pitch up or pitch down, and if I were to be able to do both things at the same time, you can see the pitch is changing. The yaw and the roll are also changing a little bit too. That's because I'm not able to uh, totally isolate my hand movement. And then the roll is um, uh, as if you had an axis uh, going through the center of the brick here. Uh, roll and things like that. I think of that kind of like as a barrel roll <laughs> with a um, uh, with a fighter jet. So anyway, um, we're wanting to just do left and right turns, so we're most interested in the yaw. So um, if you look here at the code, I've got these two blocks, which are just kind of uh, standard uh, blocks that are good procedure to have. Set the movement motors to A and B because that's where I have my motors plugged in. I've got my movement speed set to 50% though that I'm going to customize that later. And then this little guy right here, set the yaw angle. So I found that down here with the sensors. And then you've just got to find the one where it says set the yaw angle to zero. And I like that because then um, we, uh, what that'll do is that will reset no matter what ha orientation the robot happens to be. It'll be that that orientation right there is going to be zero at that point in the code. And then I have a code here. I like pivot turns um, where one wheel is moving and the other wheel is stationary uh, for lots of reasons. You watch a video, hopefully I'll make it some point on the three types of turns, pivot turns and zero radius turns and arc turns. But I like pivot turns and I've got uh, motor A going at 50% and motor B going at 0%. And what that's going to do is that's going to cause this motor let me turn it off here, uh, to start spinning so it does a nice pivot turn there. And so that's going to start going, and you might say, where's that code, that, that start moving at this percent, this percent? I don't see that over here in my movement code, and you won't, um, <laughs> because uh, by default, the, uh, the Mindstorm software and the uh, Spike Prime software does not have that particular block, the start moving at percent, percent in the movement. What you've got to do is you've got to go down to the far bottom left corner here and hit this uh, the show blocks extension and you've got to click on the more movement motors and if, when you click on that then that will create a new option which allows you to scroll all the way down here and you can see the more movement bricks and there it is right there uh, same sort of thing going on with the robot inventor software you've got to click on more movement more movement <laughs> extension and then you'll see that right down there. That's the brick uh, that I like. So then this right here is the really special brick. Wait until and then I have a green uh, hexagon brick inside there, something greater than 90 and then I put yaw angle. So let's do that. Look at this one at a time. So uh, the wait until block is uh, here in the control section and then you can see it's got a hexagon code and then inside that you can see I have this uh, green hexagon, so that's over here in the operators. So click on operators, and I clicked on the greater than something is greater than. So 
I did the greater than and I put 90 since I want to do a 90 degree turn. And then I've got this blue variable block. Now it's a, it's a, well it's a variable, but it's found within the sensors because it's a variable related to the sensors. And so I look up and down here, gesture, orientation, da, 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 da. where is that pitch angle? Wait a second, it's not, yaw, oh that's, okay. It's this one right here, it's this rounded rectangle one. Now the default shows pitch, and I, I don't know why, because I don't really use pitch a whole lot. So if you, if you click and drag that block, which I'm not sure why it's not letting me do that right now. Let's just see if I can, there it is. Oh. All right, thank you very much. It's not wanting me to grab it right now, but okay, that's interesting. I can maybe I don't have a spot to put it, but the point is, is once you grab that, then you'll change it from pitch over here to yaw, and then we'll say yaw greater than 90. Now, I ran the code again, you can see it there, and I'm gonna uh, go up here and inspect. It shows 95. Wait a second, why is my yaw at 95? I said greater than 90. Well, 95 is greater than 90, and so that's what happened. The thing is, is that the robot uh, turned so quickly. Oh. The robot turns so quickly. So it started off here at zero, and it's turning, 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 and while it's turning, it's checking the yaw angle. And at some point then, uh, when it finally realized, when the sensor finally kicked in and said, hey, I'm greater than 90, the motor was still moving, and it moved just enough more by the time it got the stop command that it had not only hit 90, or actually hit uh, some, number greater than 90, but it actually hit 92, 93, 94, 95, and it stopped there when it was finally at 95. There's a couple of ways around that. Um, maybe I'll document some of those in a, in a later video, but you can think about ways that you can maybe get this to stop if you want to stop precisely at 90. Um, you can think about that. Now, I will tell you, it's, it's very hard to reliably and in a sh very short amount of code stop exactly at 90 every single time. In my experience, if you're plus or minus two degrees, then that's normally good enough um, to do whatever you need to move it around. But if you need more precision than that, you, there are some, some interesting ways you can do that. So uh, once more, there you go, and we'll stop the code. Run it one more time. Oh, and you can see I've, I've, got, I've got my hand there blocking it and it will continue to block it. And so that's some really good code. That, that robot will continue turning until it hits that 90 degrees. And that's why this, uh, this gyro turn can be so good. Once again, that code is almost identical. This is the Spike Prime uh, edition of the code. Uh, hope you like that. Um, as always, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.